a lot of people are saying, I wish, I wish I did this in the year, or I wish I didn't do that. We all know the Disney song, when you wish upon a star, but you know what? Nothing happens when you wish upon a star. All the property investors I worked with this year know that you have to do something before something will happen. Did you know it takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan? Benjamin Franklin, who was not a US president, but one of the founding fathers said, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. Read that again. If you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So what is my advice to you? Dream big, set goals, and take action. Now, there's a lot available about goal setting. I just want to give you one piece of advice. Set smart goals. Your goals must be specific. Don't just say, I want to buy a lot of properties next year. How many properties do you want to buy? It must be measurable. How many properties do you want to buy and by when do you want to buy them? Don't say, I want to buy 10 properties by February, but you don't have time to go and view all the properties which will be required before you can buy 10 properties. And your goals must be realistic. Don't say you want to buy 10 properties of a million rand each and you don't have affordability. And set a time limit to your goals. Make sure you set your goals to exactly when what must happen. And remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So come on, take that first step on your property journey. What's your plan for, your, for the next year? My plan is to stop the bullying. Now you might ask, what bullying do I want to stop? As property investors and people who buy properties, you are bullied by your emotions. You dream big dreams when you see the property. You are bullied by the money. All you see are is all this money you're going to make with this property. You are bullied by the agent because the agent tells you, you must hurry up and put an offer in because there's somebody else who wants to put an offer in. And also, no, the seller will never accept such a low offer. And then you are bullied by the seller because the seller wants to know why on earth do you want a property inspection? There's nothing wrong with my property. Now, the question is not what you look at, but what you see. We all look at the roof when we arrive at the property. You might see that the paint has started to peel on the roof tiles. And if you've heard me talk before, you will know that the waves in the roof will mean that you are going to wave goodbye to some money. But I climbed into the ceiling and what did I notice? There were very, very old roof trusses with roof sheets on top of them. And the seller had at some stage added roof tiles. Now, please remember, these roof trusses were not designed to carry the added weight of the roof tiles. The only reason this roof has not collapsed is because it was built in 1948 with much stronger timber than they use for roofs today. You might have noticed the cracks in the windowsill, but did you notice that the cracks run down the wall and then come together and run across the patio? Did you notice that the seller patched the cracks on the inside with polyfiller? But I went one step further. I went into the basement and I could see that the seller had patched the crack with cement. He did not underpin the foundations, which is needed to support these structural cracks. My client offered 500,000 Rand less on this property. I also have a wish for next year. I wish that my clients would start doing maintenance. If only these 
sellers spent a hundred rand a month on cleaning the gutters. They would not have to spend more than 15,000 rand to replace the gutters. And sprockets is another big ticket item. It will only cost about five to 6,000 rand to treat them annually with carbolinium. But in this case, my client now had to spend more than 60,000 rand to replace the rotten sprockets around the house. One of my clients wanted to purchase this 15,000 square meter industrial property. He asked me to do a maintenance inspection before he finalized the purchase price. I found major defects on the roof and the gutters were totally rotten through. Now on a big industrial property like this, gutters cost a lot more than 15,000 Rand. My client got the seller to agree to replace all the gutters and downpipes and to service the roof at a whopping 2 million Rand. Don't you want to save that much money if you're buying an industrial or a commercial property? My name is Marisha Robers. I'm the owner of Gauteng Property Inspections. I'm an Abisa Certified Master Inspector, as well as an ITC Certified Roof Inspector, and I am passionate about property. I wish that you will not be one of my if only clients next year. I get so many phone calls from people after they've bought a property asking me to come and do an inspection, and I hear, if only I got you to do a pre-purchase inspection. Please don't be one of my if only clients next year and come and let me do a property condition report for you before you finalize the purchase. And stop saying I wish and start saying I will.